This is my first post commentary LP. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. This is also the first LP to failure counter. Since this game is easy, I'll be counting any single time I fail. Sorry for any audio sync issues. Hello everybody, I'm Shogun's my hero. With my finally, <laughs> finally I go and uh, do an LP for once. Yes! This is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror for the Game Boy Advance! Well, single player. I would do multiplayer, but apparently emulators on a laptop. Plus multiplayer, does it really work out too well, does it? Ugh. I will be doing sub-games, except for boss elimination. And I'll get to that when we get to that point. Uh, I will be showing off the collection room, probably on episode 3, but there's gonna be a reason for that later. And, um, other than that, I have no clue what I'm gonna be doing with the plan story mode. I would do multiplayer again, but no. It's called extreme lag issues, and I don't want that. And now we get to when Kenny got hate. As you can see, Kirby is split up into four different Kirby's, so... You have to have a phone system. I'm not gonna use it for until, like, we get to a boss fight. And even then, I don't use it very often, because you'll see why. These gray blocks, suck them up. That's all you have to do. There's actually bigger ones, more off, like, later in the game, where you're gonna need all the- Where you're gonna need, you're gonna need more Kirby's. We're just going right now. I should say that right now. Alright, through this door, we got our first copy ability. This is Sword Kirby. Basically, it's a sword, and we can just slash everything in his path with it. And, uh, those are little Cupid enemies. They give you Cupid, but I'm not gonna grab those until later this episode. This is why. This is Burning Kirby. One of my personal favorite powers, except for the fact it runs out so quickly. Ugh. This big treasure chest has the world map in it. Basically, you can pause to see a description of the power you're currently using, and then by pressing select, you can see the world map. You can see how every single world is connected, and you can see where you are. This is the battery mechanic. I'll get to that after this cutscene. Phone mechanic. You press and hold the L button and call the warp shirt to warp back at that hub board I was just in. And by holding the R button, well, actually just pressing it actually, it warps all the other Kirby's to you. And then they don't have to show up if they don't want to. Anyway, what you saw there was actually the level map, or area map. There isn't much to it right now, because the only shows we've been to and where there's a main chest. But we'll get something later on in World 2 that'll help us. This is Beam Kirby. He shoots a laser. But a uh, curved laser. This is fire, not burning. They can combine games like Return to Dreamland, but this game, they're separate. Fire just screws up first fire out of Kirby's mouth. Spark, so you can't do the little plasma shimmy shimmy thing about power in order to get a shield. This one just forces the electric shield around you, which you can use to break blocks and defeat enemies, which is also why I love this power so much. Small treasure chests can have one-ups or health items, or another item we'll be getting to later on. In, I think episode three is probably the first time you see it. I know it seems like I'm rushing because I'm kind of am. I want to get this project over with. This is Fighter Kirby. Basically, we turn into Street Fighter. <laughs> you can do a whole bunch of different fighting moves. Some I don't even know the names of because I'm not a nerd in that type of thing. So, <sighs> yeah. I'd take on the recording here, because most of the time when I record these LPs, it does not work out too well. I finally come back, and... Whoop. Great start. So, um, some enemies don't give you powers. Like those ones we saw, those yellow ones, they don't give you powers. The Bronto Birds don't give you powers. Not all enemies give you powers, okay? And sometimes, it's kind of iffy on which ones give you powers. And now it's time for one of my least favorite powers, Missile. This power... Well, first of all, I'm gonna forget to use it right here because I'm flying away. Uh, I go back down here to show. You turn to a rocket ship. You control yourself with the D-pad, and I hate this mechanic. I hate this power. I'm glad it hasn't returned. It's crap. This is Stone Kirby. Basically, you turn into a stone. You roll down hills and squash anything your way, and you are invincible to all attacks except for spikes, I think. That is Shadow Kirby, and if I wouldn't have killed it inside the wall, I would have gotten a special item from it. Whether it be a one-up, invincibility lollipop, which we will be seeing, or a food item. 
that's Cupid, you fire arrows, and basically we got eliminated with the archer ability in Triple Deluxe. I am rushing, I'm sorry. Warp Star just warps to a different location, and there's gonna be one world where most of the Warp Stars go to, which I hate. Alright, 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 I can finally slow down. Oh, no, 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 wait. Here we go. This giant chest contains another map. This, in World 2, Moonlight Mansion, let's just see the entire map. You won't be seeing that for a while, and I finally heard it triple because I hate the power so much. Anyway. So, um, that map lets you see all the pathways in all the rooms, and we'll be getting to that later, probably, this episode, the next episode. This is Cutter Kirby, he basically fires a boomerang cutter at enemies, and oh boy. This is where I showed, showed up the, the bow mechanic. Press R to call the other Kirby's to you, so we can fight Mr. Flosky. Mr. Flosky likes to charge into you, and throw ice cubes at you. They do not have to give them the ice power, but he actually does when you kill him. And honestly, I hate this. Because, uh, as you'll see here, we destroy him, but I end up sucking- Cur Yellow Kirby ends up sucking up his power in him, meaning that the star that popped out of him counts more than the enemy itself, so he gets burning again, and I can't show a fight! Ugh! It's stupid. This giant switch? We have a shortcut back to the hub anytime we want. I really like that. So I missed! Yes, I accidentally closed the emulator and fought him again. <laughs> and after my first fail of LP. And as you heard, there's a doe I missed every single time I failed. Well, because I thought I won. Because I thought, why not? Ice power. It's basically the ice version of fire. You freeze enemies in front of you, and then you hit the ice cube and blast him forward. And here's me showing off it, because she takes you back to the hub. Bomb Kirby! Wow, we have a lot of powers in this episode. <laughs> You throw bombs, you can change the arc with the D-pad, and well, that just shows it again. <laughs> I paused here because I wanted to show this. This is the entire map of Area 2. Flashing yellow squares are areas we've gotten all the treasure in, solid yellow squares are areas we haven't got all the treasure in, and orange squares are places we haven't visited yet. Today was the boss where we're going to be going to in this episode, and it has a weird little shard thing. There's a mirror shard. There are eight in this game. And they're all in the nine different areas except for the first one. We're gonna be getting this one in this video, and then we're not gonna be getting one for quite some time. We're not gonna be getting one until probably episode four. I've only recorded up to episode three at this point, and we haven't collected any more since this episode, so in case you're wondering. Um, basically the mechanic with Amazing Mirror is basically the mechanic you're gonna be seeing in Squeak Squad. You go through and explore the different areas in order to find treasure, like the one down there. Each treasure will give you a different item, like a spray paint in order to change your Kirby's color, a health extension, which we won't be seeing until we get to like level 5, 6, 7 maybe. Um, all that. Kirby can set up a huge enemy by holding down the inhale button, which is new to this game, I think. Those blocks right there cannot be destroyed with any power except for a like, missile, burning, and a select few others. We Times even four, I think. Bomb can't do it surprisingly. I'm not quite surprised at that. And that's the invincibility of lollipop. It's basically the equivalent of the star in Mario. You can just rush on ahead and go as fast as you want, defeating everything in your path. And it's the most catchy invincibility soundtrack I've ever heard in a video game. I love it. Maybe wondering what the stars are about the doors. Big stars are doors you can go back into whenever whenever you go into them. And these small stars mean they're a one-way path. You cannot turn back on the shoe warp back to the, with the warp star. Now, I pause here because I want to try to inhale this guy at different points. Each different color of golem has a different power you can get. Pink one, plus the bronze one, always gives you stone. The silver one, I think, if you attack it, if it, if, it, if it attacks you, I think it's the only time. The only thing we can get fighter from it, and then the gold one, which you haven't seen yet, will give you wheel, I think, when it's attacks. Um, that's, which was the only one we're going to be seeing outside of those little, those little chambers we went to, like the one we saw earlier this episode. And it's back to World 1. We're going to be exploring that later, and anyway, here's our first boss. And, it's not Wispy Woods, but it might as well be. This is King Golem. And look at this. Four Kirby destroy this guy. <laughs> And within the first 10 minutes, we already have our first shard. 
I'm not speedrunning or anything, it's just that this game's so freaking short if you do it fast enough. Jeez. And now, a durable dance sequence. when you have only like one or two Kirby's when all four Kirby's are all together oh boy I really like it now they're doing little separate dances this warp here the one we made back in world 2 gives us the, the level map for world 1 rainbow roots oh boy this is wheel Kirby a lot of power ups I'm sorry we'll slow down later speaking of not slowing down Wheels basically like Sonic Spin Dash, that they won't stop until you press the attack button again. Or you wall. It's a tornado! It changes into a tornado. It cannot break blocks, but it can only beat enemies in this game, which is changed to later games. Now we have another puzzle here I'm not gonna be doing till later. And um you need a wheel to do that. Wheel can also go across water because it's so fast, and there's a treasure chest on the other side, which I can't get now. Yeah. They do that a lot in this game. Trust me, and at one point I just got stumped and I had to look up a guide for one of them. Because, uh. <laughs> well, you'll see that when we get to, like, World. I think it was World 4. <laughs> oh, I hated that one so much when I was first playing this game. Also, may I mention, this is only my second playthrough of this game, so if I suck at this game, I'm sorry, I'm not into it yet. <laughs> this is actually pretty good for a second playthrough. Also, screw you, missile. I will not miss it. Um, as you can see, you can have destroy blocks. I hate that. I think you can do that like, Squeak's Water Return to Dreamland. I'm so used to that, and it's just... Urgh. Why? Why? And before you're asking, why aren't you grabbing ball power up? You're gonna show off all the powers, right? Well, I am gonna show off all the powers. But there are some powers that are in the Kirby series that we're not gonna see in this one. Ball Kirby, which is in Nightmare in Dreamland, is not gonna be in this one. Because, well, Ball Kirby kind of sucks. Um, there's also no Mike Kirby in this game. Surprising, I know. No Mike Kirby. I, I got pretty sad whenever I heard that, too. No Mike. There's also no plasma, so there's no charging up shields or anything. There's also another power-up in this game I love to show off later. And you get it? And it's actually a nice little reference to Smash Bros. You probably already guessed what it is already. Anyway. With this button pressed, I think we're gonna knock this episode off here. Next time, on Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, we're gonna be continuing on exploring the different worlds, and, well, that's really about it, really. That's not much I'm really gonna be doing. I feel kinda sad about that. See you guys next time. Oh, and quick thing, you saw how I went to a mirror door to World 3? We're not gonna be going to World 3, I think, until Episode 2, and it's gonna be the most failure-filled episode so far. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm already dreading it.